I'm Alex Howard and welcome to this short video. So in this little video I just wanted to explore the concept of being tired and wired. It's a concept we use a lot here at the Optum Health Clinic and you'll also hear it used in other areas around ME chronic fatigue. And tired and wired basically feels like exactly what it sounds like. It's the feeling of being physically tired and drained and feel like we have no energy in our body but our mind and our nervous system feeling overstimulated. So what it often feels like is we're trying to rest physically, but we feel agitated. Or we're trying to do an activity, and we kind of feel like we want to be doing something, but we don't feel like we have the real energy to be doing it. And there's many things that can influence tired and wired. It's interesting when we go into a crash, often as we run out of normal energy, we start to go more onto nervous energy. So one of the warning signs that we've run out of, of juices or run out of steam is we start to become tired and wired. It's also interesting when we come out of a crash, one of the things that can happen is as our energy starts to come back, our energy starts to go to our nervous system. So we can go from being normal energy to tired and wired to just tired, and then we come back to tired and wired before we get back to normal energy. It's a bit like a kind of um, U-shape almost. But Whichever side of that equation we are, the trick with tired and wired is to do whatever we can to calm down the wiredness. Because if we take the wired out of tired and wired, sometimes we then have normal energy if we're on the upward curve. If we're on the downward curve, we're left with just the feeling of tiredness, but it's a good feeling of tiredness. If it was like a feeling of tiredness we can actually rest and relax into, which is then a healing stage where healing actually happens, or it's, if it's the tired and wired, we feel like we can't quite rest and we can't quite heal. So sometimes if we're tired and wired, we need to do more activity if we're on the, on the lift up. If we're on the lift down, we need to do less. But either way, we need to calm down the wiredness. And there's lots of tools that can help us do that, but the important thing is the intention of recognizing if we're tired and wired, it's really important to deal with a feeling of being wired.